Our company is Baudville. Uh, my name is Brad DeRouge. I'm the CEO. Um, we are a business-to-business -business catalog mailer located in West Michigan. I uh, have about 100 employees and mail catalogs throughout the United States. So will the remote seller tax, internet tax, uh, Main Street Fairness Act hurt our business? Uh, and the answer is absolutely yes. As a small business, uh, we have to have focus. Uh, hopefully our focus is on growth, on creating opportunities for our employees, on helping serve our customers. And really this, this legislation would turn our focus to uh, trying to operationalize which is, what is a very complicated um, a set of uh, actions that would be required to be in compliance and so we would turn our attention to and our focus to trying to be in compliance with uh, state uh, with what is 46 different states and and uh, probably somewhere close to 10,000 different taxable jurisdictions and how we organize our our company to collect and remit that tax be subject to audit and other things and so it's definitely what I would consider a uh, momentum killer for small business. It would turn a lot of our attention, people like me's attention, to uh, matters that aren't about growing our companies, growing our employ employment in our, in our uh, areas of business and creating better products for our customers, which is ultimately what we're in the business to do. The cost to implement this would be really immeasurable at this point. The IT cost of integration for 46 different states and potentially uh, hundreds of other uh, Indian tribes would be very difficult to implement that software, would be time consuming and a real distraction from the type of work that we'd like to be working on that would help our customers and our employees. Um, it, would, it would be a big, uh, obviously, accounting distraction for how to figure out how to collect and remit. And what we're looking for really is simplification. We, don't, uh, we aren't against uh, collecting and remitting tax, but need a simplified way of doing so, a, a universal tax rate, uh, a universal tax collecting body, a universal way to uh, forms and procedures for remitting tax. And those kinds of things would make it much easier, but at this point, given what we understand about the legislation, it would be a huge encumbrance in our business and really uh, cause us for years to focus away from innovation and growth and on compliance uh, and tax compliance and, and federal government regulation, which is not a good place to have small business focused. They would have new levels of complexity that they would have to deal with in, in transacting with customers but like us, but I think more importantly, downstream they will feel the impact of, of uh, small business collectively having to shift their focus on tax compliance and away from customer service, away from product development, away from innovation. And so it's really going to have a, uh, a long-lasting impact on the types of products and services that our customers will be able to uh, have at their disposal. And ultimately, uh, catalog and internet businesses, to, to call it the Main Street Fairness Act, it's really the big box uh, uh, tax act, and they are trying to make it harder for small businesses, small innovators, to, to uh, transact commerce throughout uh, the nation. And that, that's something that's going to hurt innovation and hurt creativity uh, in the types of products that our customers look for. I would tell our lawmakers to really think about simplifying the legislation. We understand that, that, uh, that the t tax probably is going to be collected and needs to be collected. And the concept of fairness, however, needs to be rendered against the bill and how it's going to be put into action. And uh, uh, for, for us and small business in general, uh, this is a bill that really helps uh, big box, helps the Walmarts and, and, uh, and Amazons of the world, but really hurts small business in the way it's constructed today. And so I really encourage our legislators to think about simplification and how they make this, this bill and this uh, really logistically feasible for small business. And today it's not, and my hope would be as, as legislation moves forward, that, uh, that, that, that people get wise to the complications that currently exist and, and help businesses like us uh, comply, but do so uh, simply, easily, uh, understandably, and in, uh, in, a, in a reasonable amount of time and at a reasonable amount of expense.